I'm joined here by Kathleen Donovan. She is owner of Reba Farm Inn and Saddle Soar, along with her husband, Ron. Uh, they uh, specialize in leading horse excursions with us here in Roanoke County. We're very proud to be able to partner with local businesses like yours to provide unique recreation services mm -hmm. that, that we couldn't provide alone by our staff. So uh, again, we're glad to have worked with you for the past several mm -hmm. years. Talk to us a little bit about what uh, your organization provides uh, as a service to our program participants. Well, we provide a total equine experience. It's just, it's so you get a little bit of safety in. being like, around oh, large animals to animal behavior, herd mentality. We have a herd of 73. So that plays into then the final would be riding. Uh, and without the combination, it takes years to get to be a halfway decent rider, but with our system, even a novice can come out and sometimes in two hours canter. Now here in just a few minutes, uh, you're gonna take me on one of the, yes. I've never been on a horse in my life and neither have most of the participants uh, that, that take part in our programs. Uh, tell, tell us, uh, how, do you, how do you do that? How do you get from not having touched a horse to on horseback in, in a matter of minutes? What does it take? Well, number one, we're not going to overload you with a lot of information. We're going to give you really good key points. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with safety and then about maybe four basic things that you need to do in order to make the horse know that he has a rider, not a passenger, on his back. I'll talk first. about that. What are those four things? Well, one would be you're going to sit heavy in your pockets okay. or heavy in your seat. Heels down, toes up, and you're going to rein in what we call is an imaginary box, which is out in front of the saddle. So your hand is going to be reaching out towards the head of the horse. You don't bring the reins back to you because then you create a lot of pressure. So you're, the rider and the horse are not partnering up. So basically, if you do these few things, a horse feels he's got a rider, mm -hmm. not a passenger, and then he's going to respect what cues or commands that you're going to be learning to give. Uh, now talk about your horses. <clears throat> they, they say that a horse can, can sense if you're a little nervous getting on it, but you have a pretty special herd here, don't you? We do, and we've had well over 20,000 riders through our doors. So from the very basic beginner to uh, expert, yeah, definitely we'll say riders, <clears throat> but our horses, we have some that will adjust. <laughs> they don't have a problem taking a beginner one day, then a maybe intermediate rider the next time. They are just so used to dealing with a volume of people that they don't seem to have any anxiety about it. And it's a little bit different to a lot of folks <clears> going <throat> on vacation. They go around these tracks where the horses are just going around yes. in a circle. That's not like it. It's not no. like that here, is it? We're going to give you a real ride. You're going to go through open pasture to wooded, crossing creeks. We got a little watering hole that the horses love to have a stop and drink a little bit. We're going to go uphill, downhill. Mm -hmm. Just, it's just about everything. So with our classes, uh, well, a great part about it, it's out here in Bedford County, but we provide transportation from Green Ridge Recreation Center, mm -hmm. included in your fee is transportation, the instructors, the equipment, mm -hmm. and of course you don't need to have experience. And one of my favorite things, just to add, is that it's a family program. Yes. Uh, you can participate with your children, uh, depending on the class, some are ages eight and up, some are ages 12 and up, uh, but it's, it's a really mm -hmm. unique experience, isn't it? It is. Uh, we just had actually last Saturday, Feed the wildlife, mm -hmm. uh, where it can be from, I believe, eight years old up to seniors. So find all our options in our program mm -hmm. guide or find out online at RoanokeCountyParks.com. Thanks, Kathleen. You're welcome.